match. Um, one the Olivier Giroud. Just how good performance was that from Olivier Giroud? It was a, an amazing performance to score four goals at, at this level, Champions League level, um, against a really good opponent. The individual quality of all of his goals, I know the last is a penalty, but the, the team quality of the goals, but his individual input, four goals. So, again, you just uh, rightly he gets a, a standing ovation as he comes off the pitch. I'm delighted for him. John Cross. Uh, was, it, was it also a complete team performance, Frank, you know, from, from front to back? It, you, you know, you were really disciplined at the back and then, you know, Oli obviously, what a fantastic, um, you know, strike and the forward display as well. Yeah, I mean, to, to carry on with Oli, I think when you play Oli, you know his attributes, it's important we get a lot of energy around him, people that can run off him, support him. He has qualities to hold the ball up, obviously, and balls in the box like N'Golo puts in. So I loved all those parts of us at the top end of the pitch, but... To answer the question broadly, I think to make nine changes in a game, because and I said before, players are deserving to play because I see them training well. Some players can can get their heads down if they're not playing lots of minutes, um, and that's always a worry when you make that level of changes. But the focus and concentration of the team, the moments to suffer, which you always will do against a team like this in the first half, we dealt with things, we defended well, we were organised. And some of our play was great, whether it was our um, comfort on the ball, whether it was our counter-attacking at pace to cause a threat to them. There were so many big pluses from tonight and uh, we need to continue with that. Frank, just to follow up on that, you, when you talk about kind of, you know, players maybe letting their heads go down, you know, Ollie, Ollie doesn't clearly doesn't play every week, but his attitude, his professionalism, I mean, he must be the ultimate pro, he must be the, you know, the ultimate player for you to manage. Yeah, he is. He is the the ultimate professional and I think he's done that in his career and I think that's why with Oli, you see his numbers for France, you see his numbers in the Champions League. I know when I came in, he, he wasn't always a regular before I got here, but as soon as I came in, I could feel the, the positivity of him as a player, how he wants to train, how he wants to affect people, whether he starts or not. And he started a lot for us now and been very impactful in terms of how he was in restart um, and performances like tonight. So... It, he's a great um, sign for, for younger players, for other players, that when, they're, when they're not always playing. And in a squad of 20-plus that we have, that happens, of course. They keep training well, and when they come in, they perform like they did tonight, because uh, you know, that's, that's, that was a really, really complete performance in the circumstances tonight. Good to see you, Sammy. Hi, Frank. Hi. Is it possible to say that with uh, a nice dilemma ahead of the uh, ahead of the weekend, uh, Tammy's had a rest tonight, but it's obviously going to be very difficult to to um, drop a player who's just scored four goals. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's what you ask, I suppose. When you when you, I say, as I say, you make nine changes. I always say that when I try and pick the team, I try and pick the best team for the game. Um, and not to have favourites as such. You try and put the best team on paper. When players play like they did today, they give you. A great problem. It's not a problem. It's the wrong way to describe it. It's just having a top player playing with quality, playing with dedication, and so, yeah. Hi, Frank. You okay? Hi, Matt. Um, I know all the talks, obviously, about Olivia, but I just wanted to throw something else at you. I know, I know you like your superstitions. Are you aware that the last time Chelsea won four games on the trot in the Champions League was 2012, when you won it? Yeah, no, I, I, I wasn't aware of that. Um, I do like superstitions, but I also don't like talking about things and tempting fate or whatever way around. <laughs> that might be uh, relayed. I don't know. Listen, I'm, I'm pleased with where we're at. The levels obviously go up in the next stage, which we've thankfully qualified for and we've topped the group at this early stage. So that's great for our confidence, but the levels will go up. The competition goes up. And we found that out last year, but we're in a different place now. We are improving. I feel that. And I'll never be the one to get carried away, but I knew at the start of the season with the new players, some time to bed in, the younger players to mature, and we're seeing that in the younger players, the maturity of their levels. People, young players are reacting to competition and experienced players are affecting things and reacting to competition. Look at Oli today, but you could look around at other performances within that team in Georgino and Rudiger 
and others, uh, Aspilicueta. So uh, it's important that we keep this spirit, um, but I, I will leave that superstition one away until we, uh, we get closer to where we want to be. Cheers. Silvia? I would like to ask if you could choose what opponent would you like to have in the round of 16? Uh, a dif difficult question at this point because we still have one more round of games to go. Um, and obviously now after the, the group stage, we have a long time when we go back to the Premier League and we, ha we have to keep improving because as I mentioned before, at this stage now, things will get tougher game by game as we go through. I haven't got, I haven't got an answer for your question, I'm afraid, but um, what I'm pleased with is that we're in a position where we are gaining confidence so that we feel we can take on any opponent. Um, that's, the, that's the progression that we're in. Today was another step for us. Duncan Wright. Right. Hello, Frank. Um, just, just want to touch on something you said to Matt there. It's, it's only three, three and a half months ago since you went to Bayern Munich and you learned a lot that night. It's a short time to, to make the, the kind of improvements you've made. What, what has been the changes you've well, I think it's, a, it's always a collective and I think there are lots of aspects to it and, and we've worked, the lads have worked even when we went away in the, in the short off-season um, myself and the staff did a lot of analysis about areas of our game which we wanted to improve and my job is to put them into action and work on the training ground and then there's the other side of that which is working with the players to make sure that the, the push and the drive and the spirit of the group is good and then the biggest thing is the players so the players are the ones that have to go out and perform like they did today, hopefully. Um, and some of the recruitment we did and the players we brought in have certainly helped. The competition has started to be really positive within the group, players trying to get in the team, trying to train at top level uh, every day. But I have to put a small warning next to that because people will get excited, particularly after a result like tonight. But as always, the consistency is the thing that will win you titles, whether it be Premier Leagues or Champions Leagues. You, ca you can't perform like we did tonight and then drop that level. We have to sustain these levels regularly. So that's definitely the next test. Very few teams in Europe are able to win and the Ramon Sanchez big one. So I believe that uh, you are really happy because of this win in Seville today. You're happy about it, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy because when you arrive at the stadium, um, you feel the, the atmosphere, the, the history and the atmosphere of the stadium. I was actually very happy that there were, there were not fans here in a way in a footballing sense because I can imagine the atmosphere here if there were. But what we still had was a really tough opponent, a manager that I have huge respect for. And even though they made some changes, we also made changes. I knew that the style of their play and the way they play is so effective that it was going to be a difficult game. So I didn't expect to win by such a margin. Um, but I still feel that Seville, when they now are they obviously through to the next stage of the, the Champions League, they will be a very difficult opponent for whoever they draw against. Let's finish with Coro Garcia. Buenas noches, Frank. Enhorabuena por la victoria. Frank, congratulations on your win. Were you surprised on the Seville's uh, version of today that you saw? Um, I, I wasn't surprised. I'd rather give credit to my players for the for the way we approached the game because we, we felt in, at Stamford Bridge against Seville that the team are really, really strong and they're very good in possession. They're very strong at winning the ball back and the high press. Um, but from the first minutes today, I felt that our game was, was really good um, in all senses and sometimes we had to suffer a bit against a good Seville team but we, when we did that and when we had the ball we were very clinical in our play so I, I think we should the players should take credit for the performance uh, not a great night for Seville but as I just said I think they are a really good team and will be a really difficult opponent in the next stage of the Champions League Thanks very much everyone. Thank you Cheers Thank you Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.